Hello friends and welcome to the Halloween edition of Momo Makes. I'm your girl Momo, I do DIYs, upcycles and sewing projects. Today we are going to be making the Squid Game masks for Halloween from scratch and with a free downloadable pattern. The materials we need for this project are burlap for the main body of the mask, foam sheet for the accents, wire to create the armature of the mask, and black paint and some elastic. To buy the materials, let's head over on to our friendly neighborhood Michaels and I'm going to pick up a roll of burlap. It doesn't matter which color you choose, natural or bleached because we will spray it black. For the accents, you can buy black felt sheet or a foam sheet. For the armature of the mask, I'm going to head on over to the floral department and pick up some floral wire. This will give my mask some structural integrity and retain its shape. You could also use these uh, metal wreath rings. Uh, which you can easily mold and shape into the size of a mask but I think I will get more use out of the floral wire so I'm gonna stick with this option. As a bonus Halloween giveaway I will also be revealing the Squid Game Dalgona candy recipe and it's way easier than you think but more on that later. The mask has a curved top half and two bottom sections that make the mask shape 3D and oblong to fit the shape of a human face. We also need to make the mask protrude and contour to the face. I'm using my bike helmet for the initial draping and with my draping tape I am marking the shape of the mask. You can use anything round like a pasta pot or a large fruit bowl. With the floral wire, I made an oval armature roughly the size of my face which I'm going to tape in place as my guide. This will give the mask its overall shape and will hold the burlap in place. To drape the mask shape, I'm using a piece of muslin that I keep for draping dresses on my dress form. You don't have to be so schmancy, just use a piece of scrap fabric. Any cotton fabric will work. Now with the grain of the fabric aligned vertically, I will draw the shape of the bottom mask panel. I'm smoothing out the fabric along the curvature of the helmet to make the 3D shape. Since the top half of the mask is one piece, I am draping the entire top section. With the grain of the fabric aligned horizontally this time, I will draw the shape of the panel while smoothing out the fabric along the curvature of the helmet. Next, I am going to make the drape neat and symmetrical and cut it out. I am adding a quarter inch seam allowance as a general practice to make the top half more curved. I added a dart. The pattern of the mask is pretty much ready and I will make the final adjustments to the pattern once I put the pieces together and try it on. Next, I'm going to cut out the burlap by pinning my pattern and cutting out two bottom pieces and one top piece. Remember we bought the entire roll of the burlap. You can make like six masks out of that. So that one roll, it goes a long way. So here is the final pattern. I also have a PDF download, which I will link down below. There you go, I made it easy for you. Time to sew the mask together. It's pretty simple. I'm going to pin the bottom two pieces together first and sew them. I am 
going to pin the top and bottom pieces together next and sew those. I'm going to notch the seam for a good curved fit and I will steam iron the pieces and mold it with my hands. I'm going to add the small darts along the sides. You will see these in the downloadable media pattern. These are going to give the mask the final 3D shape. I'm pinning the wire armature in place now and using the zigzag stitch on my sewing machine, I will sew the wire in place while stretching, pushing and fitting the burlap to the wire. Once done, it's time to trim the excess and the shape of the mask is pretty much ready. I'm using masking tape to block out the shape of the triangle. Did you know that the triangle guards in the squid game were the middle tier guards that were in charge of taking out the participants? Taking out as in... So we are going to spray paint the mask black, remove the masking tape while the paint is wet so you can get crisp and clean lines. In the same way, you can make the circle and square guard masks. Once the paint is dry, it's time to attach the elastic. I'm passing a thin elastic underneath the wire and tying a knot, and then repeating the same process on the other side. Since I wear glasses, I kept the elastic very loose. As a final step, I'm going to add some 3D elements to it with black foam. Cut a strip of foam about half an inch wide and glue two strips side by side to create this ridge detailing in the front. Then we are going to add a cross strip on the middle line to create a photorealistic mask shape and your squid game mask is ready. Another key staple for your Halloween squid game dress up is the Dalgona honeycomb candy. It's easier to make than you think and you need only two ingredients and you can make these candies ahead of time and package them as squid game Halloween giveaways. Alright, I'm going to set up a tray lined with parchment paper to set my candy in. For the presentation, I'm going to use a lid from a jam jar. I'm going to use this small pan to make my candy. One of the key ingredients for this candy is the baking soda. This is going to give it the fluffy texture and and the golden color. All right, so let's get started. I'm melting about three tablespoons of rock cane sugar in my pan over low heat. This is going to take some time. Melt your sugar slowly and keep stirring so it melts evenly and turns light gold. Once the sugar is completely melted, I will add a small pinch of baking soda and then whisk and stir vigorously. The color of the sugar will turn light and then beautiful gold. Don't cook it too much or it will turn dark and you definitely do not want to caramelize or burn the sugar. This is why I recommend cooking in small batches for better control. 
wait a few moments to cool the sugar until it slightly thickens now you can pour it on your parchment paper in a circle shape let it sit for a couple minutes and let it expand and cool down once it's cool to touch but not completely hard and set i'm going to make the triangle shape in the candy with the tip of a knife you could also use a cookie cutter in the shape of a circle triangle or an umbrella and i'm sure that your halloween trick-or-treaters would absolutely love it so there you have it friends it's the halloween squid game mask and dalgona candy and all you need is a pink jumpsuit and you're all set if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel i post videos pretty much every week thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one